So it's my honor now to announce our 2022 Wells Fargo North Carolina Principal of the Year. This person believes that trust and mutual respect comes through sustained practice and that fostering an atmosphere of trust and mutual respect is one of the most important tenets of effective school leadership. This principal believes that learners of every age and ability will be more engaged and invested in their learning when they can experience their voice and their choice. They believe the mission and the vision of a school are far more important than just a line in a school improvement plan or a line on a letterhead. It should be a living statement that reflects the value of the school and the community it serves. This principal school was North Carolina's first comprehensive high school to achieve a model STEM school designation in 2015 and renewed again in 2020. This school has targeted the Latinx community through a program called uh, Cuntos that works to educate Spanish speaking families about school student achievement and college planning. So I know today the scholars of Green Central High School are inspired and proud of their principal, Dr. Patrick Green, as the 2022 Wells Fargo Principal of the Year. Dr. Green, if you'll join us on stage. First and foremost, uh, like everyone else, thank you to the sponsors, uh, well, Wells Fargo, Equitable Financial, and the uh, Kid Hungry, Jostens, Education First. You all um, do an amazing job promoting our work, and we certainly appreciate you for all you do to make this possible for us. Um, thank you to my wife and my daughters. Um, when you are the, the family of a, a principal, you are just as married to the school as the person who gets paid for it, to thank you for being a part of that. Um, and thank you to my school staff who worked so hard to make me look good. Um, I just told them yesterday, it doesn't matter what happens to me today, they're the ones who do the real work and I just get to, to be a part of it. So thank you to them. I'm here today because of the impact that a, of a principal, a former principal, but not my former principal. I'm here today because of a principal that impacted my family two generations ago, 80 years ago. My grandfather was the four-time dropout of the seventh grade. He was the oldest child in a tenant farming family and was expected to contribute to the welfare of the family more and more every year. But a principal that attended his church took notice and agreed to help him on weekends and evenings. And when he went back to school to graduate, even purchased him a class ring. And while I'm sure that he taught my grandfather some lessons in math and English, what he really taught him was an appreciation for education. My grandfather raised a daughter, my mom, that graduated first in her class. But she grew up in a time when higher education wasn't always as important for working women. But that emphasis on education was just as important. And she raised a son who loved school. And I'm here today, but none of that would have been possible had it not been for the leadership two generations ago of a principal who I don't even know his name. Our work not only changes the educational outcomes for students that we serve, but it literally changes the directions of lives. Today, principals face new challenges that are more difficult than ever before. The learning loss and disengagement of students due to COVID, an increased need for human capital in our schools, social and emotional problems of our students and staff, and many other needs stand waiting for us as we enter our buildings every day. Being a principal today takes courage, tenacity, compassion, patience, and a whole host of other leadership skills to be successful. I walked into this room today as a representative of my region, along with eight other principals that have achieved incredible things during their difficult times this year. Together, we support the work of school leaders throughout our state, and we invest our time, energy, blood, sweat, and tears into making schools a place for students and educators to thrive. I have loved getting to know each and every one of you 
and the other, other eight regional principals. And today I look forward to working with each of you to shape the direction of our schools and our state to come. Thank you all so much.